Welcome to Groupy Man's Reviews. In this video, we're looking at how to use the Anki Vision app. I have done a full review on the Anki C800 dome cameras. I'll leave a link in the description box below and a pop-up card if you're interested in watching them. The first thing you need to do is either search for Anki Vision app, as you can see there, I already have it installed. You need to put your details in and then you'll be ready to add the camera. Or you could go through the actual system itself. Go to configuration, go to network, where it says platform access. And you could see you've got the QR codes there. You scan them, whatever phone you're using, an Android or an iPhone. And make sure that status is online. Once you've done that, then you go to add camera. Please allow the mobile client to access the camera for scanning the QR code. OK. Allow. They scan that. There you go. Add. Add in complete. Name the camera, I'll just name it Anki, camera, and there you go, that's how simple it is. Let's have a quick look at that then. We'll start at the top, the left hand side, playback, playback date, time, Anki camera, back out of there. Different view. You could search the device as well. The plus scan a QR code to add another camera. You can even share the device as well. My devices, other devices. Back out of there. Recent live view. If you go at the top, that's the camera. One camera selected. Press the three dots. We've got playback. That's live streaming now. Take a picture. Start recording. You could change how many cameras. Of course, I've only got one camera connected at the moment, but you could select up to four. You could pinch to zoom in. Zoom out. Back out there. Back to the three dots. You could share it. Back to the three dots. Settings. That's the name of the camera. Linked camera. I've only got one camera linked at the moment. You could change the name from here as well. Notifications. Enabled. And you could schedule notifications as well. It's on. Set a time. I take that off. Back. Storage. Everything's fine there. Image and video. Configure DDNS. That's not needed. Remote configuration and delete device. Of course, you don't want to do that. At the bottom. That's live view now. Four cameras. Sixteen cameras. I've only got one, so we stay to one. And at the bottom, you've got your basic or HD. Let's go to HD. Now this depends how good your internet is, but look, the quality has improved a lot. Okay. But of course, these cameras don't have uh, audio, so... Got your zoom. That's a lot of zoom there. Again, that's the same one. Take a picture. Starts recording. Stop that. That one's for a PTZ camera, but this camera's not PTZ, so I go through that. Could pause the stream there as well. Play again. Alarm. These cameras don't have an alarm. And the dots there. Select noise reduction level. Back out of there. And that's it. My device, Anki. Of course, we've been on the share one. If you click on that, that brings you on the same one where we was on before. As you can see, only one camera is working, the other cameras are offline because I've only connected one. Notifications, nothing there. Click on more, picture and videos. And these are the videos I recorded. The quality is really good there. And the pictures. You're able to share these as well. And then delete. 
to manage your share settings account management settings I've enabled push notifications the sound you generate a QR code to share with someone Wi-Fi settings and stuff look at there reset device password configure network and then help about an Anki store then log out then back to the Anki and that's all there is it's a really simple app really basic to use same as the NVR I hope this has helped someone once again I must admit these cameras are really good I highly recommend these cameras they're really user friendly that's it for this video thank you very much for watching I'll see you all in my next video